Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a business email for free. Maybe you've just started a business, or maybe you're an established small business still using your at Gmail or at Hotmail email. Today we're going to upgrade your business. In order to get started, you will need to own the business website, otherwise known as the domain name. If you don't own a domain name, you can get one at GoDaddy.com. If it's your first time buying a website, I've linked a walkthrough video here. All right, let's get started. We're going to go to zoho.com slash mail. Select business email and click sign up for free. You'll be redirected to a list of plans to purchase, but instead we're gonna scroll down until you see the forever free plan. This plan will give you everything you need to get started with a professional looking email for your business. On the next page, enter your name a current email or phone number, and create a password. Agree to the terms and sign up. Verify your email or phone number by getting the one-time passcode. All right, now you'll connect to your existing domain or you have the option to purchase a domain through Zoho. I recommend checking out GoDaddy.com before buying here through Zoho because GoDaddy offers most domain names for just 99 cents. So definitely check that out. For this video, we're going to connect using an existing domain. Select Add Now. Enter your domain name, for example, OrganizedOtter.com. Enter your company name and select your industry. Awesome. Let's add this domain. Now we need to verify our ownership of the domain we've just entered. This means we're going to connect to the domain name service, also known as a DNS, which might be the place you bought your domain from, like GoDaddy.com. Select Login to My DNS. You'll enter your username and password for GoDaddy. Here, we're just going to connect and authorize Zoho Mail to the domain name. All right, congrats. We've verified ownership and can get to the fun part. Now, let's decide what username to use for your new email. You can use your first name at yourdomain.com or your first initial and then your last name at yourdomain.com. However, you'd like to set up and show your email address. Just remember that whatever naming convention you set up now, you should also use for your future employees so it's consistent throughout your company. Now let's click Create. Here you can see our first email address created, and on this screen we can add up to four more other people at the company. So on the Forever Free plan, you're allowed five email accounts. If you only need one email for yourself, we can continue and proceed to set up groups you can also skip that step if you only have one email set up. But if you'd like to add more users, then we can add more email addresses by entering the name and the username we'd like them to use. That's going to be their email address, so make sure it's formatted like the others. Set up a password for them, and you can select this box here that says Force User to Change Password on First Login. That way, it's their own personal private password moving forward. So we're done. Let's click add. Now we can see the test email added. So you can do a few different things with each email address by clicking the three dots on the right. I'm gonna show you how to set up an alias email to get the most out of each email account. You might wanna use an alias email if you're the only person at your business and you wanna have different display emails like returns at yourdomain.com or help at yourdomain.com. These email names are just an alias for your main personal business inbox. And all the emails will go to one place. It's a nice way to keep topics organized and you won't have to use your personal business email everywhere. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to add support at organizedotter.com. You can also change the display name to match the email alias. So if you're using returns at organized otter.com, you can change the display name to simply returns. This will be the name that people see when they open the email. 
Once you've added the aliases that you want to use, you can see them all displayed here. If you later decide you don't need to use these aliases, you can delete each one of them. Using aliases will not take away from the number of users for each email account, so this will not affect the other four email addresses that you can add and use to this company mail account. Those email accounts can also add aliases. All right, now you have an email address set up. You've added an alias, and you can add a profile photo and edit your personal details here. If you've added more than one user, you can now create groups. Groups can be used to quickly send an email to more than one person. For example, you have a customer service department with two people. You can add both their emails to the CS group and now every time you send an email to cs at organizedotter.com, each member added to the group will receive the same email. We'll skip down to complete the setup and check out our new inbox. Or you can take a look at the admin console. That's where you'll go to manage your email accounts. You can add your company logo here and see other account info. If you want to upload your company logo, select Organization here on the left. Click the little pencil by hovering over the photo box on the right. Browse for the file on your computer, and there it is. You now have a professional and free business email.